Our program is very broad-based. There's courses in mass media, broadcasting, rhetoric, interpersonal communication, video production, um, all sorts of different areas. The students feel very positive about ECC and the communications program because it prepared them for whatever, for whatever they were doing next. A majority of our students do go on and transfer to a four-year school and continue to pursue uh, a bachelor's degree in communication arts. Most of our students transfer to other SUNY schools, uh, you know, um, locally and other ones around New York State. Students that go locally to UB, Buff State, Fredonia, Brockport, uh, even some of the private schools like Canisius or DeUville, uh, Madai, they do very well um, and we have articulation agreements with all of those schools so if they graduate with a communication arts degree from ECC then they're automatically accepted as, as juniors at that school and all the courses transfer in one way or the other. The students have a, a plethora of internship opportunities. Um, we do uh, eight to ten internships every semester. And they can set up an internship with any area media organizations. We've had several students intern at Channel 2, 4, and 7, as well as Fox. 97 Rock is another big user of our, of our services as far as interns go. And students like to do that kind of thing. The, the feedback that I hear from students after they've done an internship is usually very good. I've had students been offered jobs, part-time jobs, uh, via the internships. At the very least, they establish a relationship with the people they worked with in the radio, let's say, the radio business, and they make contacts that way for future employment endeavors. So, it's a very positive experience. It is. They switch back and forth. You'll get Usually we try to space out the schedule so that they take one or two communication arts courses a semester, and then they take maybe two electives. So, in a typical sem uh, day, they might be taking a uh, communication arts course with John, like Intro to Rhetoric or Communication Theory and then they would take a communication arts course with me, like Intro to Mass Media or Intro to Broadcasting. Some of my classes are a little bit larger, so they're in the lecture hall, and we usually do with PowerPoint presentations. I like to play a lot of music in class as well to supplement the lecture. Um, we do a lot of group work in class. Um, there are presentations. There's all kinds of things that make up that kind of lecture-oriented kind of class. There are some production classes that are more lab-oriented. So you're, the students are actually doing hands-on activities and working on computers doing nonlinear video editing. In all my classes, I try so hard to incorporate the real-world experience into my lectures and into the class activities and things like that because that's hopefully the, the jobs that students will be pursuing after they graduate from well, here. There are more outlets than ever before. There, I mean, if you just look at TV, in the past you had three choices, two, four, seven. Now you've got 150 choices. So that means that there needs to be more programming, needs to be more production, which allows for more jobs in that kind of area of broadcasting. And I always say that communications is a great place to start because no matter what discipline you get into, communication will serve that well. It's really a great discipline to have as a background to do many things.